Go. Sure, yeah. What? Not you. <laughs> <laughs> no, in this difficult moment, it's uh, not being near those people that we love and we might be worried about. Let's take a moment in prayer and to. Uh, and maybe in the chat comments to, to write the names of those people that you wish were next to you uh, right now at this table. And as we name them, let us uh, experience in our hearts that they are actually present with us. Friends, we might also want to call to mind the people that we cannot name, whose names uh, we do not know, but we know that they need our prayers and God's comfort. And so this day, let us, uh, let us lift up our prayers together. And uh, as I name a category, let us uh, remember to give thanks uh, and praise for these people. Father's Day. Let us give thanks and praise to those people who brought us into this world and for thanks for the things that they have done and cared for us and helped us to become the people that we are this day. Friends, let us pray for loved ones. Let us praise, pray for those who have lost those who they love. Holy God, we give you thanks for the doctors and nurses who care for those who are sick and ill. And we acknowledge that even when human life ends, that we are with you. And so, Lord God, bolster us in that assurance and comfort us in our grief. Friends, let us pray for those who are sick and recovering. Mm. Holy God, we pray for those who have COVID-19, for those within our voices who are sick from other ailments, that you will be present with them, that your spirit will comfort and heal them. We pray for all those who are caring for loved ones who are sick and at home. Holy God, we pray for those who are separated from loved ones. Particularly, Lord God, we pray for those who are living alone at this time and are feeling isolated and maybe just a little bit of cabin fever. Oh, God, be present with them, bolster them for the journey that's before them, and help those of us who can to reach out to them with a word, a card, a note, a phone call. Holy God, be with those who are helping and who are so very tired. For those who are struggling to find friends and food and comfort, for those in our community who do not have homes or places to stay. Okay. And Lord God, we pray for all of those who are afraid. We pray all this in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, who asked us when we come together to pray together, our Father, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. And so, my friends, uh, let's all say amen to that. Amen. Amen, indeed. Let us take a breath, breathe in the Spirit, breathing in the Spirit of God, breathing out any anxieties or frustrations we may have, allowing God's prayers and spirit to bolster us for the journey that's before us, to allow God to work in and through us and to bless others. And so my friends, let's close with this closing song, Rock of Ages, Cleft to Me. Where's that beep beep? <coughs> So my friends, it's now time for us to uh, raise up the endorphin levels just a little bit, improve our heart health, both physically and spiritually. So uh, let's start by repeating this affirmation after me. Uh, I'll read first, then you respond with great enthusiasm. We know that Jesus is amongst us. We know that Jesus is amongst us. Ah, even in this very home. Even in this very home. We will not let fear be louder than love. We will, we will not, not let fear, fear be louder, louder than love. But with glad hearts and rejoicing souls. With glad, glad, hearts. glad hearts and rejoicing souls. We will sing God's praises. We will, we will sing God's, God's praises. praises. For we are an Easter people. For we are, we are Easter, Easter people. people. That was great. We that know that Jesus is amongst us, all of those who are working so hard right now. Amen? Amen. Amen. Do not offer comfort to those who are also feeling anxious. Make a plan today to reach out to somebody. Build your God box and place those concerns or problems that you don't have answers to yet inside of it. You don't ever have to open it. You just have to believe that you're giving it to God. And as we close this together, remember... God is always with you, no matter what you face. No matter what trials or hardships will come your way, God is right beside you, always directing your paths. 
So acknowledge your fear and your worry and know that it is as true and holy as any feeling, including joy and hope and love. Take heart, my friends, for this is the heart of the matter. Amen. Yes, indeed. Happy Mother's Day to the mothers and the almost mothers and the sort of mothers. <laughs> and happy birthday tomorrow to Joe Shaw, number 90. Oh, oh wow. yes. Happy birthday, Joe. Happy birthday. birthday. Oh. Yes. Well, we should sing happy birthday. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, we should. Are you all ready? Uh, unmic, uh, unmic yourselves. Because we want it to be really, really good. Oh. Like and my grandson Brett is 30 today. Oh. And he's 30, and Brett's 30 today. One third of the age of the show. Wow. Let's, all, let's all sing. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Joe and Brett. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Yay. 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 Oh. Yay. 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 Oh, okay. I thought you were the And in the bulletin, it's got Rich Olmo's name added. Is he okay? Who? Rich Olmo. Yeah, the, Rich, is, uh, Rich has been dealing with a lot of the stress. He's asked for prayers for him and his family um, during this time uh, with the distance learning and all the requirements and everything that's been on his plate. It's just uh, getting a lot of food that asked for prayers. So please keep him in your prayers and uh, that his health will be well. It's uh, just a sign that that there is a lot going on in people's lives that maybe we don't know about that we need to kind of be um, understanding over. So he's going to take a couple of weeks off and breathe. And uh, fortunately, he had gone ahead and he reserved or actually recorded everything for this week's service. So we still have to have the here present with us. So... Uh, so keep him in your prayers. Okay, thank you. Lily Bauman, are you there? Violet's here. Oh, good, John. I wanted to tell Lily congratulations about St. Mary's. There, yeah. ah, there you are. Yeah, thank you very much. We'll, we'll pass so, that along. Is she sleeping? She's yeah. excited. Yeah, we got two of us here this morning. Good. That's good. Yeah, I was. Uh, my sister went to St. Mary's. Love St. So Mary's. It's Love beautiful. Our daughter Lisa went to St. Mary's. 
And it's great it's for environmental stuff because you're right by the water and all the archaeology <laughs> and all that stuff. So it's going to be perfect for her. Yeah. Yeah. That's I hope, that hope it'll be a good fit. Uh, yep. It's exciting. Thank you. Where are they? They somebody from your family went to St. Mary's. Yes, Abby went, Abby went to St. Mary's, yes. Yeah. And uh, went there five years. She did her MAT there as well. That's right. He would graduate on Saturday um, from Salisbury, but of course there is no graduation. But um, she has finished her medical laboratory sciences degree and will be working at Hopkins in a couple of weeks. My oh graduate. That's awesome. Yay. Which one? Yay. Which one? Yay. We're done. Yay. Which child? Wow. Dorothy. 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 Yeah. Okay. How's Ian doing back at work? Ian is doing well. His blood work wasn't as good as we would like to have seen this past week, but they did some more intervention. So we're crossing our fingers that it goes back up. Yeah. 